Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy man like you, otherwise known as Mess, and uh, welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And it's my birthday, so I would really appreciate if you would leave a like on this video and subscribe. And so uh, yeah. Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. Alright, listen up. Oh. Dr. Jiro built a lab in such a remote location. You must not like people very much. I don't get you to say anything. Exactly a well respected scientist. No surprise there. Disoiled it! Disoiled it! I didn't even get to say anything. 17 and 18, huh? I wonder if Vegeta's <laughs> already run into them. Alright, I'm gonna try and kill this dude. <laughs> Run straight into it. If you do this, guys, by the way, that's the matter. I think I mentioned it in the last episode. If you run into him like that, you just get mad XP, like immediately. I like that. Alright, so, uh. Oh, there we go. I was a bit confused where it was. So let's see. The Android Terra. It's close. What just happened? Hey, Dr. Jerome. Uh, how dare you? I created you. You didn't create us, we had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. They clearly don't give a shit. Do you hear that? It's an order, 17. <laughs> We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Good idea. Easer. There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. Ooh. Oh, that's 16. 16 is honestly one of the best characters. He's he's so cool. Yeah. And big. And strong. I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey. I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. I'm your brother. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier mom. Android 16? I've Interest. never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so so those are the androids that Dr. Jiro was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Wait, Krillin is just looking at 18 like, I'm gonna be a future husband. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So, what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> Vegeta looking cocky as well. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giro wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. And they're not going after them. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku. I couldn't give a damn about that. <laughs> Dare they? Just ignore him. <laughs> Dare they ignore yeah. the mighty Vegeta! <laughs> I told you guys. I know this. I know this. Wait, Vegeta's Big Bang Attack Super is now available. Kill ha, don't make me laugh! They're All right. going to pay for not recognizing my power. I mean they didn't go far. And Vegeta, holy crap, I didn't even know she's level 63, bro. <laughs> like I've grinded with this guy. He's strong right now. Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. Nope. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. Wait, I'm just like, okay, just calm down a bit. So, they had lives before. They became androids, obviously. Were they psycho kids killers back in the day, or did that just come with them being androids? I don't know, I'm a bit confused about that actually. See, that's what I thought. 
Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. He's good at trash talking. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. Nope. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Ladies first? Let Vegeta. me guess. Are you all right? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still. Just watching isn't much fun. I guess. I could play with you guys. Th these awkward pauses. Do you know what that means? You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Let's go. So we are going to beat her, obviously. So I guess since you're a you're not a female. Don't tell me. That wasn't the best you could do, was it? We're going to beat her. But after this, she's going to beat our ass in the cutscenes. It's always like that. Wow. I didn't think you had this much in yeah. you. You see, how easy is this shit? She's almost dead, bro. Like you're running out of steam. Running out of steam? Out of your misery. You die! Calm down. I cannot touch this. Could you just stop the attack, bro? Let's go! I mean, she needs one more hit, I think. I, I don't even have to do anything. You see? I told you guys. I've been riding Vegeta so freaking much, man. And now she's gonna beat us when I can't do anything to defend myself. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. See, why is it tired? We just beat her ass. Oh. I think it's <sighs> time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Nope. Oh, this is so bad for him. For his pride, that one wish. Oh. She literally broke his arm. Bruh. So I think this is the guy who actually saved the universe in Dragon Ball Super. That's that's kind of odd, you know. He won the tournament of power. If you don't know what I mean. Don't worry, they're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. <sighs> You can be such a child sometimes, 17. Well, you know he, that? Isn't he still a child? You think so? Isn't he 17 or 18 years old or something? I don't know. Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Krillin wants a kiss. Huh? What do you <laughs> want? He wants a kiss. What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first... We're gonna take care of Goku. Why? I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there. That voice is insane. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. He's gonna get a kiss. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Too bad you they though they'll fight. Oh. Bye. That's your future uh, future woman, Krillin. Lucky fella. I gotta help the others. Mr. Sensor Bean to the rescue. Am I right? Am I right? Alright, let's see. 
Ooh, silence. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. It's just a game for them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He needs this. He'd finally become a super saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. And got beaten down. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? Hmm. <laughs> you know. What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. He has a plan. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. What is Trunks looking at, by the way? And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on Planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. Even though it doesn't like But it. wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Nope. Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide yeah. anything. Bro! I got a shock! Thank you for the subscribe. Up there, I can see you. Holy crap, I got a jump scare. I mean... Well, thank you. <laughs> we already know that you're Bulma's kid. All grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? No, nah, Vegeta uh, knows. Uh, Vegeta knows. I see. He just I'm sorry it. for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. <sighs> Honestly, my heart is still pumping from that subscribe. Hey, we got a lot of experience. Nice. Hey, we get to use trunks. Overdo it, huh? <laughs> yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? I'm wondering, doesn't people notice this? There's a flying man? Can it drive into us? Stop bro, give me a car. Hey, they can take us for a ride. Tell us what the future's like, Trunks. Uh, I, I mean, if you want to. <laughs> no pressure or anything. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything positive to say. <laughs> Unlucky Krillin. So I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> Unlucky Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Put me down. All right, let's head to, to watch Goku's house. I know that's a side mission, but I really just want to continue with the story. I feel like all of the side missions, not all of them, but a lot of them is like the same stuff over and over again, like getting ingredients or materials, go over there and there. Then I just prefer to, you know, grind by fighting enemies instead. And I usually do that off camera anyways. So uh, for me, it's fine. Though Trunks is not very strong. He's level 38, while Vegeta is level 64 right now. So uh, there it is. That's yeah. Goku's house. All right, let's see how let's see how the big man is doing. Uh, hello. Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? You're looking at him. <laughs> what an idiot! I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. How rude. Hey, Chi Chi, pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. Now he's sleeping. 
So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good! Oh, Chi-Chi's face. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Chi-Chi's face after that. <laughs> All right. And now she's so happy. Packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Nice. So in this version, Goku just doesn't, doesn't scream. Like in Super Force, I would. <laughs> Obviously, that's Come so much. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Are you getting a car? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giraud tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. And drive a car. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, 17. Blah, 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 you all complain. Get over it. All right, oh, we got a lot of great. He got some EXP. Was that Krillin that got that? I didn't even notice. I think Krillin got some EXP. I mean, honestly, he needs it. I have been grinding Vegeta, obviously, as you could see. Uh, Goku, I've been grinding him. And I've been grinding... Uh, yeah, Vegeta, Goku, and Gohan, basically. Not the rest. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Is Gohan dying? Take a look at him. <laughs> hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Yep. It's a good idea. Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Ah, uh, man. He's not wearing seatbelts. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. I mean, it's the same person. What do you want about? Oh, look at Gohan. Look at Gohan over the corner. He's just staring. That's actually creepy. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin? You're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, uh, my future son, there? Yep. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. It's the time machine. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with the database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. Yep, he it's knows everything about it. covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. The one that has hope written on it? But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? So, do you know? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Why well, not pause? the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes, I'd like to see it for myself. Honestly, the awkward pauses. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. <sighs> I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? Yeah, fine, sure. Go on. Of course. Thank you. 
I mean, Gohan is becoming Gohan. Trunks' past in the future, so. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. I mean, you've gone up against Frieza and stuff like that, like... Come on, man. Alright, let's see. Um... Trunks? Yeah? Um, Trunks? <laughs> Sorry. I just interrupted you. But we are continuing into the story. I want to get further. I think Trunks is strong enough. I don't think we are encountering any threats right now. So I don't need to grind him. I don't need to get him any stronger right now. So it's fine. Again, I'm just I'm mainly focusing on the, the main characters, which is obviously Goku, Vegeta, oh, and Gohan. Completely intact. It's strange to see it like this. And he used to see it all burned down and everything. No, that's from uh, that's from uh, Super. I'm thinking about the uh, Zamas, Zamas. But it was it was not burned down, but it was definitely ruined and deserted in the uh, in Dragon Ball Z like this in his timeline. There is. It should be in this area. Let's start looking. I mean, yeah. Trunks, that's it over there, isn't There's it? There's definitely something here. That's a time machine, all right. Let's land on it. Boom! And Bulma was here. And it Hi, has Bulma. Ridley. Hey, you're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah. That's right. Oh, it's the other one in the garage. Here, what are you talking about? I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? It's a coconut. <laughs> Ew, what is it? It's a space coconut. It looks like the door. It looks like the door in his head. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even noticed that before. What's it doing in the time machine? It looks like the door in his head. <laughs> this is some sort of egg, isn't it? Do you think? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel. And happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh, so that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? And no one noticed it. Why did this thing come here? No one noticed it before now. I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible. This thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Wait. What's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I it's was wondering cell. what that is. Oh, well, his old skin, wasn't it? Ah, yep. What on earth is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Wait, why is she saying that like they have freaking dinosaurs in this universe? Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? Have you seen your fish? Like the fish that you fish in the, in, in the game are huge. I bet that's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine or they came here carrying it. Uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Why are you smiling then? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. 
All right, next chapter. Oh well, the story result of this one. Oh, <laughs> a lot of experience. Leveled up? Who leveled up? Trunks? I think I think Trunks leveled up. Honestly, he still needs it. I think it's just the the game's way to. Um... Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton, just as Kami had feared. A town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-android fiend from the future. Ooh. Yes, lad. So now we go to- I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. Wow. That'll do. So yeah, we are merging now with, uh, with Kami. Oh, Kami. Oh, that was actually a good one. If you know SSJ9K? Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Nope. Nonsense, now is the time. Ah, uh, they probably want me to say what do you mean. What do you mean? Wait, is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see so? you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. They're talking about Cell, right? What? I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? All right, nonsense. Oh, nonsense come time. on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Okay. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? Uh, they probably want me to ask even further, so I'm going to... Uh, Point. Yeah. Good point. Losing the Dragon Balls is no small matter. They're still Namek. Then, perhaps now is not the right time. No, that's not what I'm saying. Then do elaborate, please. <laughs> Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Yeah, yeah, okay. The not Dragon an Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. That sounds disgusting. The first one looks It seems through. my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. 
Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Disgusting. Uh, call me. Call me. I'm going to be the base. Got yeah, it. Obviously. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Then go on. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Kami. Is the legendary heat caster? Kami, you're an old guy. I'm gonna keep that shoe in your own eye. I don't know, something about that. That's awesome. Yes, lad. And it isn't isn't a fusion, it's Farewell, a merchant. Got me. Please don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Super Piccolo. I don't know. Right. I'm off. I mean, the subtitle still said Piccolo, so... Uh, <laughs> and his name is just Piccolo. Oh my god, we got a lot of experience from that. I'm gonna shit run plug. Honestly, some of the gifts in this game is weird. Piccolo's true name making fusion transformation is now available. Oh! Whoa, this power is amazing! Yes. Town, huh? Yes, it is, lad. But, even though it's amazing, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, yeah, I need to head off and because obviously it's my birthday, so I need to, I need to get some food, see some friends, you know, the standard stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell. See it as a birthday present to me. So yeah, take care and peace.